news just filtering in tell us that they are going to open some 40 or 50 mummies they have dug up and pulled out in ancient Hamed, in ancient Egypt. Why do they continue digging up our ancestors? We have to look at this. We, to do that, we want to consider uh, this book by Enensa A.M. Amen. Black Pharaoh. You should get this book from Amazon or from Tawi Distribution. Look for it on Google. You can find it. We have not yet uh, been defeated, gentlemen and ladies. But there should be a way out of all this. An answer AM Amen asks the question, what are Egyptologists in search of? What ultimate uh, knowledge lay behind the modern survey of the language, arts, sciences, society, and the religion of classical Hamid? That's what, you, that's what he called Egyptology objective. That they want to reconstruct and to look at the sociocultural world of dynastic peoples, a complete identity seen from without and within so far as modern methodology will permit. So why do they continue to do that? Why do they continue to dig up our ancestors in ancient Hamed? Uh, we shall look at a number of crucial reasons why. Egyptology did not appear at once a perfect equipped field. It evolved into an academic discipline after many moons of more myopic exploits. The earliest cache of artifacts was Paris booty and the forerunners of today's curators were tomb robbers. The handful who took scientific interest in Egyptian antiquities were a cadre of budding intellectuals taking along with military convoys perusing the Nile Delta conquest. So that's the, the major reason. And now, until centuries later, did the Nile Valley's foreign academic appeal begin to curtail its mercantile rule. In fact, local commercial needs still stay a neck above the heritage value of the ancient ruins. So they don't care about that. Consider the mathematics to which Egyptian authorities are beholden the $13 billion that Egypt invoices annually from tourism far outweighs the revenues it may stand to gross were it to go into the truth of all this. So that's a fact. These are facts, very powerful facts, why they continue to dig up our ancestors and display them. But there is more and more to this. Europeans are still under shock or from classical Greek testimony and other French scholars that Egyptian civilization is in the Afro civilization. So they are still looking for that to prove that it is not. But the ancient Greek eyewitness account has proved that the Nile Valley civilization, which they saw with their own eyes, was of black ancient origin. It is the Greeks who, whose historical writings we have complete access to. The Greeks were not just visitors, they actually participated in the closing act of the Nilotic cultural theater. The Ptolemaic dynasties at the tail end of dynastic history does not allow the Greeks to witness pyramid building, the birth and development of hieroglyphics, or any of the founding moments, but it surely gives them a trustworthy vantage from which to inform us as to the normal ethnic stock of the Nile side countrymen. So who they are, that's the proof. So all the Greek authors, all the Greek leading historians maintain a normal perception of the Egyptians as being black. No ways about that. Don't listen to genetics. Don't listen to movies. Don't watch Hollywood. It's all a lie. They are lying to you in your face by putting in post-colonists, Romans, Europeans, Greeks as Egyptians. That is a lie because of the jealous they have that the blacks cannot have founded such a civilization. That's clear, straightforward. Not in modern, uh, they say that Egyptians were blacks, not in modern terms, but in terms that me meant black in ancient times. Where we get lost in translation is that along the way, phenotypic determinants have trended. And so at one point around the 20th century, Western scholars refer to Negro people on the basis of dark skin, prognosticism, and dolcephatic heads. Uh, all archetypical black African phenotypes. So they called us Ethiopians, they called us Ethiopic, Negroid, anything they wanted. So whereas the ancient had no concept of what African is, like what we have today, like modern people, 
The gold black men, the Greek historians, the Herodotus, the Dora Siculus, and Strapo surely made constant reference to Egyptians as being black and woolly hair. So that's the concept that they have. So that's the proof these people are digging up graves. And also the current wave that Africans in diaspora, throughout the diaspora, the Africanity of commit is overwhelming, becoming obvious to everybody in cultural recognition and ethnic identity. That prove invisible to Western scholars they, and researchers, they say that. So they want to counter that. So they're planting evidence, they're building up and destroying our ancient heritage. West Africans, namely Nigerian Yoruba and others with indigenous sensibilities, call they come out, their great grandfathers. They are Ghanaian royalty who fashion their crowns after Hamitic Neteru. The many points of alignment between Dogon and Hamitic culture have been pointed out by Egyptologists since at least the 1970s. So everything else is coming. Also, the modern identity of the identity of modern Egyptians today, the modern ones that are there today, is that they are mixed, they are colors, they are mulattoes, caliphates, Ottoman, Persians, Mamelukes, and Europeans. So they are not the descendants, hence why they are digging up. So they also go into academics and employ Greek names for places found in Africa. Thebes, Harangon, Polis, Memphis, we do refer to them. Uh, the Greeks used several ways and formulate the names of places in Egypt. When a city was most famous as the center of worship of an Egyptian god, they regularly named it after a manifestation of that god. Often the animal form, which is now, I'm telling you, totemic. So cities were named after totems which is only found in ancient africa because it was a couch center for that also they called the other places like nekpenyu which is heron police because of the falcon and Iulu, which is the city of the sun or heliopolis which is Ulu. and then you got uh egyptian abeju you still have abuja in nigeria today you've got abeju which is a city oh, they call now Abydos. Memphis is Munofara or oh, Munofera. Sakara is Sakara or Soka or Sekuru, which means old or ancient or grand. All the other places like Wasetu, all the Arabic names that they are now designating with as primary, referring to the place, that's all a lie name. So they continue to attack even statues, poking out the eyes, pull, smashing and chopping off the nose, killing idols, killing artifacts like that. They didn't even deny that we had ancient queens. Look at our queens, Queen Nefertari, Black, they knocked the nose, Queen Makeda, Queen uh, uh, Zawaiditu, uh, Nandi, Queen Zinka. All this is proof that ancient Africans, we were civilized. So this book, The Black Pharaoh by Enenza A.M. Amen, uh, one of the teachers, a uh, hematologist, Ra Unefa Amen, says, this book will give clarity to millions that is needed to understand the importance of studying ancient Egypt through the lens of traditional Africa. Because people are many people are being turned away and they can't see. So I have been able to unlock this hidden science and treasure by following spiritual principles shared between Egypt and the rest of Africa as well as ancient black India. So that's 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 why they continue to dig up. So if you study this and become acquainted with this. You gain the Ausari principle, which is the moral principle of self-definition. I am one with all, therefore I am. Also become a heroguti, which is social justice. Living justly protects you. Where you should have this in your own mind and personality. So if Europeans were indeed the founders of Asian civilization, they wouldn't do this. This is the French Egyptologist Jean Ch Francois Champollion standing with his foot, left foot, on the head of Pharaoh, gloatingly. Thus, their continuous destruction, digging up of our ancestors, serves the purpose of satisfying their ego and the defeat that our ancestors on them and faced on them. So what must we do? If you are an artist, you should repaint our ancestors again, just like that, everywhere. You should have these images in your house, in your room, in your car, in your office, in your persona, instead of other people. Discussions, you must be engaged in WhatsApp study, WhatsApp uh, groups, discussions, or uh, Facebook, any other forum that you could have. 
plant this idea. Don't debate. Don't argue with those that refuse. Continue telling the truth. Compose and shoot movies, write books, blogs. You should own, we should own our own theaters, drama and films and documentaries. That's how we can revive uh, this. Why do they continue digging up our ancestors? It's because of spiritual and physical jealous disbelief that the ancestors were not civilized, commercial getting money from our ancestors, miseducating black folks. It is time we support our ancestors by spreading the message that we founded all civilizations on earth. You can also support us and by subscribing to our channel Hamiti Buru Ethics and spreading the message. Teach the young ones daily. Let this message be you. Let you be sunk with this message. This is Priest Rabbi LM Tumizulu. This is our email. Siabonga Tatenda. Thank you. Goodbye.